Hey, what's going on guys? It's Chris from Daily Tech and welcome to another episode of Extras, the unscripted side of Daily Tech where I talk about whatever I feel like. Today, I thought I'd weigh in on the Apple Watch a year later. I don't know if it's been exactly a year that I've had my Apple Watch, but it's been a long time and I think I'm one of the only people that actually still wears their Apple Watch around and claims to like it. And as we're getting closer to seeing the Apple Watch 2 come out, um, it could be as soon as WWDC or maybe at a later event, but in any case, probably sometime this year, it seems like all I'm seeing are hate articles about how terrible the Apple Watch is. So when the Apple Watch 2 does become available, I thought I'd have this video out there and available for the perspective of somebody who actually likes this device and uses it basically every single day. The point being, if you're considering that Apple Watch 2 when it does become available, maybe some of my experience over the past year with the first version will be useful in some way. So first things first, the issue of apps. Apps on the Apple Watch really aren't very cool. They're not good, they don't do very much, they're slow, and even with Watch OS 2, which was supposed to speed things up, they're just not something that I ever used, ever, at all. But what is cool and very useful to me are glances and alerts. So glances is when you swipe up from the bottom of the screen and you kind of have some widgets that are just specific views from inside of apps. And those are completely customizable, of course. One of my favorite glances is from my bank, which lets me swipe up and see exactly how much money I've got in my bank account at any given time. So I can see, is it time to go on a shopping spree or time to give Apple Pay a rest for a bit? While I do have some of the health glances activated, I don't really look at those too much. But the other glances that I do use a lot are all organizational stuff. So my calendar, my to-do list, my alerts and reminders, all of that stuff lives there and it's really quick and easy to get to and see what I've got going on the rest of the day or be able to dismiss something or cancel something. Now the other thing that I mentioned besides glances that I really liked were the alerts. So for instance, I really love being able to get and respond to text messages or other kinds of messages right on my wrist, whether it's with the canned messages or maybe the smiley face animations, the emoticons, or just with my voice. I use that all the time. Another alert that I really like getting on my watch is from my Canary Home Security System, which gives me a snapshot so I can actually see what triggered the alert, whether it was motion or sound or whatever's going on right on my wrist without having to get my phone out too. So the glances and the alerts, those are the main reasons why I really like the Apple Watch and why I put it on every day. Now there's two areas where I think the Apple Watch could really improve and if it does so in the Apple Watch 2, it would make me want one even more. The first area is complications, which is all those customizable areas on the screen where you can have custom information show up. So right now I've got the time, because I have to, the date, which is useful because I never know what day it is, the amount of subscribers that I have on the YouTube channel, and the temperature, so I always know how warm it is, at the sunrise and sundown times, which is really useful for photographers or people who do video and want to capture the best light possible, and I've got a complication that lets me know how long it'll take me to get to whatever is next on my calendar. The other thing that I think could be really, really, really killer on the Apple Watch is Siri. And right now, Siri is like, okay, it works for me about half the time. When Siri on the Apple Watch is working, I love to set reminders, which I've got hooked up to my Do app, which is really, really, really annoying. But that's the point, it nags you, nags you, nags you until you finally get something done. But unfortunately, for whatever reason, the Siri just really isn't reliable on my Apple Watch. In fact, it seems to have gotten a little bit worse from when I first picked it up. So one of the big deals with the Apple Watch is all the different bands, and I really actually keep coming back to the sport band that came with the watch in the first place for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's super fast to get it on and off. Number two, it's really comfortable, probably the most comfortable band that I've ever tried. And number three, I don't care what happens to it. On the other hand, as you can see on this channel, even just a couple of videos back, I've checked out a number of different Apple Watch bands. So all the other bands, no matter how nice they are, what they're made out of, how they look, are actually either less comfortable or harder to put on and get off, or you just don't want to mess them up because they were nice and cost a lot of money. And speaking of bands, I think a lot of people think like, well, I'll have a bunch of bands and I'll change them out and maybe I'll use the sport band when I go to the gym and then I'll check out the leather band for later in the day when I'm at the hospital. That stuff doesn't really happen. Like, you're too lazy to make that happen. And some of the bands that are third-party bands don't fit into the slots all that well. So you really wanna do your research and make sure that you get a high-quality band and not some cheap, 
Chinese ripoff or something. Basically, you're gonna end up picking a watch band and that's gonna be the watch band that you use all the time. And if it's a nice watch band, you're not gonna to wanna to wear it to the gym and then your watch is either gonna sit there unused or you're gonna switch back to the sport band. One thing I definitely wanna mention is that the glass on this watch has definitely got plenty of scrapes and scratches and I really don't know how that even happened. I thought it was supposed to be pretty tough, you know, like Gorilla Glass. Um, but I think the treadmill, number one, kind of scraped up the corner and just like wearing it, you bump into stuff. It's not like I don't go around just bumping into things, but it does like get a little bit of scrape and scratch, even if you're not like crazy or rough with it. So all the health stuff that Apple keeps like marketing about and being really excited about, it doesn't really affect me too much. So I don't have like Parkinson's or some major disease or something, thankfully at the moment. And so I don't have to wear it and talk to my doctor about something that's going on. Um, I could see it being really useful in that case, more so than other watches. Um, but you know, like keeping track of my steps or activity, it turns out after wearing this and understanding all the data, I really take about the same amount of steps and do the same amount of activity every day. So there's one more thing that I think is kind of cool and it's just a really simple feature. It's the nightstand mode. And I actually like that quite a bit. Um, why I like it is because if you tap the watch or actually anything in the vicinity of the watch that shakes the charger or the watch, um, the screen shows up and it shows you what time it is, when your alarm is set, and how much charge you've got on the Apple Watch. So after a while, the watch goes back to sleep and you don't have some bright light staring at you, but also it's more convenient than just having your phone because I think a lot of people my age just don't have like alarm clocks anymore. But using a phone is kind of a pain too because you have to like feel around for it and it's flat and you can't really see it. Um, but this works a lot better as an alarm clock. In fact, it's what I use to wake up every day. So would I recommend buying it? Yeah, I mean, if all the things that I've described are appealing to you, um, otherwise, no. <laughs> it's not a device, and I don't think really any smartwatch is yet, that you have to have that's going to shake the foundations of your life and make it a million times better. It's gonna be like incrementally better, but that's worth it for me. All right, guys, that's it for this video. If you're new to the channel, check out all the other content that we've got. Otherwise, hit subscribe, and I'll catch up with you in the next video. Later.